Well, welcome back to the pallet hide here in the woods at the airfield. Uh, I came across this morning about 11 o'clock to check the nuts in the box and also to retrieve the memory card on the trail camera. All the nuts are gone in that box, uh, so there's obviously some action here. I've got back to check the, the uh, memory card and at one point there were three squirrels on the tree at the same time, so there could be more. Uh, but most of the activity is around 5pm into darkness, so it's just gone three now. I'm all set up, I've got my trail camera out, I've got my GoPro out um, and I'm sat in here, sat back further into the hide to stop the barrel getting wet with the rain. Yes, it's raining, I never go out in the rain, but I've made an exception. So, uh, I'm just going to see now if, if these chaps come out to feed, even in this horrible weather. So I might see you later on. Hi guys and welcome back. Well, it was 4am yesterday morning I woke up thinking how on earth am I going to stitch this film together for you to all enjoy. Whether you're at home, sat in the car, you might even be at work pretending to be doing some work. I've seen you. Anyway, when I get a message from somebody saying, hi, I've just found your channel and I'm subscribed, that's what it makes all the difference to me. Thanks for much your support. Smash that subscribe button, get yourself a coffee, a raincoat and some dry clothes. You're going to need it. Well, it's certainly a better time of day to be out putting my equipment out. So it's just a GoPro type of camera there on an extendable pigeon hide pole of all things. So get that set up, have a quick check around and then straight in the hide, waiting for visitor number one, who didn't take long to turn up. Now this chap has got the best luckiest escape and you would have thought with what happens next, he would have been on his toes and out of there. Look at that, missed him by millimetres. But he sticks around because he knows there's food there. What a plank. Pretty final end there for him, but uh, the next view I'm going to give you is from the new Hick Thermal Spotting Scope, uh, and I was absolutely blown away with the quality of this. Take a look at that. Well, there's obviously no audio on that, so you can see the chap there. You can actually see the pellet that missed him fly off to the right-hand side. Um, his footprints are still left on the aluminium sheet. Uh, he should have run and kept running, but he didn't. He stuck around and then decided to do this all over my box. What a mess. Anyway, thanks for that, uh, Hick. That was brilliant. I was really pleased with that result. Well, that didn't take you too long to turn up. That was literally about four minutes ago when I made that first video. Um, I did not even got sorted out properly and I saw the fellow he came across from the three o'clock position. So uh, he's down. This so this is that GoPro type camera and I'd set it to black and white because I was imagining going to be there uh, into darkness but um, this fella turns up a few minutes later after that first one got nobbled. I'm going to quick sniff around because he thinks I'm sure my mate was here a minute ago. Well he is, he's on the floor. Oh. Now I spotted this one with Miss Spotter. He was down, I don't know what he was up to, but he was just mooching around on the floor. He's mooching around on the floor, I told you that. Showing that bit of grass is there. Could have parted his whiskers. So back on with the black and white camera again. Now that fellow went, came around, walked past the dead bodies on the floor, did a lap of honour, straight for the nuts. This has come from the same way as the others. They've all come from the right. Don't rush your food, mate. Oh dear. 
So while that chap was being dealt with, I was aware of the old cackling sound that the grey squirrel makes and had a quick poke around up in the bushes and there he was at the top of the tree. So he's up there and there's another one down on the floor. They're talking to each other. Here he is. There's two here, there's this one down there and there's one at the top of the tree. Well, he's having a go at that one down there, so there's actually two that have arrived. Going to black and white because it's a bit gloomy now. Also, we've got a queen wasp that's trying to come here and make a nest, which is really nice. That's just what you want as a wasp buzzing around your face while you're trying to concentrate on what's going on in front of you. But um, there we go. Anyway, he's just on sat very nicely uh, along with the rest of his mates, so he's going to have to go the same way. Swiftly. Let's see out of the way. So this is the one that was up in that top of that tree a minute ago that I filmed through the thermal. He's just walked over four dead bodies to get to there, so... Look at that rain. Hi, hi. Nothing out of the way. doing a bit of a break dance on the floor. I'll leave him to it. I'm not going to follow him around. He's going around the back of the tree anyway. So a final view now from the thermal spotter. I got this clamped on a camera arm in the hide. Um, I was quite intrigued that even after a few seconds of standing on the tree, he actually leaves his footprint there. Now bear in mind that it was being pouring with rain all day. Everything was soaking wet, um, but it still leaves a hot footprint on that wet tree. Now, like the rest of his mates, he goes down quite happily feeding because he has been doing for two weeks. Um, goes for the vertical feeding method in, instead of sitting on the, the port perch like the rest of them, but pays the price with a very painful headache. And then he does that all over my box. So that's number five, and it left a great big heap of very wet bodies at the base of that tree. Um, now, I'd shot four there previous session which was two weeks ago uh, they were all males this time it's three males and two females so that might have been why they were scrapping on the way up well what an eventful afternoon that turned out to be um, following a visit this morning just to check the memory card on that trail camera finding that all the nuts had gone uh, led me to go back to three o'clock this afternoon I had to re-zero the rifle quickly to 17 yards get set up and then wait for this to number one. But we didn't have to wait too long because he was there within 10 minutes followed by his mate uh, shortly after that. Um, two most important bits of kit today was the trail camera obviously to give me that information what time to go and the little thermal spotter I was using to pick up the action. Um, it micro do one it's under 400 pounds if you can stretch that and you're doing a lot of squirrel shooting in the woods like I've just been doing it's, it's the best tool next to your air rifle. Uh, you get plenty of notice um, and it's more than enough powerful enough to see the sort of distances and identify what you want to so uh, thanks very much for watching um, if you are new to the channel and you've enjoyed the content that you've seen today please click on the subscribe button and the notification bell it'd be great to have you along um, and there's another another trip planned uh, at the end of this week where i'm going out foxing with a good old mate of mine so hopefully i'll see you then in the meantime cheerio well thanks again there's a reminder there of the event we've got at the oxford gun company on friday the 18th of november and uh, as i said then uh, if you want to click on the subscribe or as the rest of the guys say smash it smash the subscribe button and hit the notification bell i'll be glad to have you along and uh, join me for the next video in the meantime cheerio